hello everyone in the previous video we saved our category into the database and we also closed uh, we are closing our model but we are unable to close this one so why we are unable to close this one so let's get started so here we are closing our model this ajax uh, model id and we define this uh, ajax model id here right but our model is starting from here not there right so we need to add this uh, here not to there so how we can add this because this example model is already added and when we are opening our model so it's going to use this uh, open this example model so we are going to add this a uh, class not an id so i'm going to add that to uh, ajax uh, model and uh, let me go to the jquery so you can uh, click uh, you can select this uh, text and uh, type control d so you can switch to the next if there is an, any other define this so uh, same keyword so you have this one let's get refresh and uh, add this into the database okay it's getting refresh and let's click on this uh, category uh, fake flare chrome extension click on this save category and yes now it's uh, displaying a success message and our model is also closed so you can also display the side notification right let me display the get the side notification if there is anyone so uh, let me grab something different so you can grab it to uh by your own one so you can display the jquery toast uh, uh, on the right left side right side or in the center so i'm not going to do this because it's a uh, demonstration purpose series so i'm just removing this because it's we need to manually close this one so you can also close this uh, automatically when this is saved so you can display a message on the right side or left side just totally upon you so we successfully saved our values in the database we added this uh, jquery ajax model and now the time is to we need to um, grab these categories and display them into our web browser so how we can do this so we need to first add uh, an html table and then we are going to grab this into the html table right 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 okay so here i'm going to add an html table right so the table would be the table property and let me grab this from the bootstrap website so it's already defined here it's already prepared so i'm going to grab a very basic table okay wait for a moment to complete this out okay 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 uh, by the way in the previous uh, video uh, how i can debug the uh, ajax model why it's not closing i debug it myself that i uh, double check that uh, why it's not closing i checked the id where i assigned this id and then i found that uh, i assigned the id in the wrong place so here i need to grab this table go here and uh, we are going to basically display a jquery data table right uh, not jquery we are going to display the laravel Jajra data table so first we are going to just t head set the t head and remove these uh, t rows from there right and t body you need to make this t body empty so first would be for id second would be for name and uh, then third would be for type and then four would be for actions right so here we can define our button so these are our table headers and we define them into t head and the tr right and then we close this t head and we added this t body so make sure when you are implementing the data table so you need to make the html table properly otherwise your data tables are going to throw the styling errors so we added this t body so we need to add this t body empty and this table right so we are not going to add the data from the um, from the html we are going to append this through the jquery right so first let me check the uh, let me uh, view 
this table that how it look like and it's look like this one right so let me go there and add this into a proper place oops let me add this uh, into the into this div okay let me add this here save this one and now it's going to display us in the sixth column it will skip first three and last three so now it looks pretty right so we can also add the margin between this button so we can add a class of uh, margin bottom so i'm going to add this margin bottom three so now it will add a space between table and a button so now the time is to install the laravel yajira data, data table we are going to use the server side data table it's more easy than uh, jquery data tables why we can perform the actions on the laravel side so not uh, we don't need to interact with the uh, with our jquery stuff of course we can interact with the jquery stuff but we need to process our things on the server side not the client side so that's why we are preferring these uh, uh, laravel yajira data table so you need to search this uh, laravel yajira data table and this plugin will be uh, available and we are going to install this so let's go to the yajira box.com this is a official documentation of this yajira data table so how you can install this so let's copy this command and i'm going to install this into the laravel 9 project i'm not sure that it's going to work in the laravel 9 because i implemented this in the laravel 7 8 so i'm not sure that it's going to work in the laravel 9 so if there is any error we will fix them right uh, sometimes uh, libraries and plugins are not updated uh, for newer versions so that's why i'm saying that maybe it's not going to work for us in the laravel 9 so it's, uh, work in the laravel 8 so let's take eye on this i pasted this command and hit enter so it's going to install the laravel jajira data table and uh, then you can do this like this so button the html so if you want to add the buttons pdf buttons uh, csv buttons we can install it from there so then you don't need to add this so uh, in into the uh, into your service provider because this one is will be auto discovered from the discovery package and then you also don't need to uh, don't need to publish the assets right so it's going to install and it's taking some time so here i'm going to close this one this one and this documentation also because we don't need this anymore so it's going to install the laravel geogera data table and let me check the video size and it's going bigger right so we are going to install the geogera data table and then we are going to implement this in the next video that how we can is use this geogera data tables to generate the generate the you know, data table stuff so let me assign this table an id so we are going to use this in the next video so our table id is this would be a category table right category table and it's generating the optimized file it's successfully installed and uh, congratulations we are successfully able to install this in the laravel 9 so that's great it's also working in the laravel 9 so wait for a moment so, so hope it's going to it's not going to throw us any error if it's uh, going to throw us uh, any error so i'm going to shoot this in the live video that how you can debug this so if it will uh, it will install the successfully so i will shoot this in the from the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye